That's 14 total minutes, but uh, yeah. We want to be done before that. Yeah, kind of want to be on and off in that 10, 11 minute range. I've been with the team 14 seasons. This game day role where it does a lot of operations for stadium logistics and helping with the game presentation has probably been closer to like seven or eight. I've done everything from help the mascot blue on game day to doing on-field promotions to also working with game day setup and overseeing some of the half times and anthem presentations. Typically, we're here probably five or six hours before kickoff, and a lot of it's just bringing out all of our elements that we have for DJ stage to different promotional items that we'll have. We have to get all this stuff out before anybody gets here, and then what we do is then start into our normal game day routine where we'll end up checking on all of the items that we put into our checklist that we do for operational procedures, whether it's booth spaces and it's touchdown town and, and things along those lines. Good morning, how you doing? We started out game day at 7 a.m., getting all the stuff ready for game day, and then we did our first rehearsal at 9.30. If we're looking at this, this is obviously where we want the stage because the spotlights are gonna be on. So podium would almost be like right here. And really testing the stage, carpet, layout, working with the military. We're right at like probably 2.15 to 2.20 to get this set. So a lot of that kind of coordination stuff happened early that morning. I think we want to probably start them out here on the field. Today we did a uh, full stadium pass out for the Freemi Ring of Honor, so it was like a rally towel in partnership with Lucas Oil. The way we ended up having to do it, we came in on Thursday and Friday and did some of the upper level seats, but they had an event in the stadium on Saturday night with a band competition, so we had to come in early this morning. It's definitely a pretty large crew of us that are, are heavily invested into the entire program. You almost don't realize the level of thought that's gone through there and the number of people that are invested in it in thinking through every small detail. The Ring of Honor members are going to go to the stage. The alumni players are going to go put their feet at the front of the carpet and then they're just going to walk up and then they'll walk out to their location once they hear their name. The one thing that the Ursay family, I think, really puts an onus on is making sure each game day feels special and that each fan has a great experience. Once the anvil is finished up and then it goes to kickoff, that's kind of your first sigh because we have to have the whole setup for the team intro tunnel, which is a, a large structure horseshoe that comes up and then getting that off the field in enough time and then getting the full field flag unfurled and making sure that the PA works when the national anthem's singing and there's a lot of things that are happening so you want to make sure that goes off flawlessly. Ring of Honor members first, it'll just be exactly this order. And then as he's unveiling, Bill Brooks will give him the jacket. Will you just make sure everything clears back and we don't like yeah, fill into the tunnel? I think it's just a little bit how I'm wired. I enjoy that logistical approach. And no matter how much we plan and how much we try, there's always gonna be some type of issue or some circumstance that comes up. Do you wanna add him in after Justin Snow? And you, will you make sure that Mike Jansen has that? Whether it's out of our control or there's a laps in communication to a certain group. For my side of it, I just enjoy seeing a game day evolve from start to end. Yeah, with about 10 minutes, that's probably when I'll go over to the tunnel because I got to get the Ring of Honor jackets out. So we keep some of the guys' blue jackets uh, of the former Ring of Honor members. So just getting all these out and getting ready to get them to the guys. You know, those are the kind of things that happen prior to us going out on the field and actually running the presentation. Thank you. Yeah. And then I can grab it uh, when you're okay, walk off. Yeah, so this one's you. Just make sure it is real quick. Yep, that's all you. I mean, and as soon as the video ends, Jim it'll talks. throw it to Jim. Jim that's when he talks. It's a little stressful, but I mean, you do want them to have their moment. You want to make sure the fans have their moment with these players. Bill Brooks is going to have your jacket up there. Oh, Bill Brooks, uh, he's one of our first Ring of Honor inductees, but he always kind of knows what my plan is. Once Mr. Ursay points up and unveils the banner, 
that'll be a good transition for you to bring the jacket. I can always kind of like look at him and say, hey, we got to clear everybody off. So he's, he's great with us to really help out. Once we start lining up the guys, I want to get the entire team in the locker room before I turn on the blue lights because I don't want to blind any of the guys coming in. What I was hoping to do is kind of release them from the lights. Um, so we'll line everybody up back from here. Yeah, back them up and we'll start there and then they'll come out. Timing it off and making sure we're hitting every one of our marks that we want to. And so with getting that stage out there, that's just the first step. And then the next step is blue carpet and then military and then getting the guys, make sure that they're lined up and Mr. Ursay out to the stage. PA is gonna introduce all the players It'll introduce the video, and then after the video ends, it'll be your time to start talking. You'll unveil Banner, and then also help him with uh, getting his jacket on. It all has kind of its second-by-second second moment. Number 93, Dwight Freedy! And having that internal clock in your head where it's like, okay, that was a minute and 30, and then, all right, well, I know I have 30 seconds for Mr. Ursay, and then I'm gonna have a minute and a half to get all the players introduced, and, and them actually walking out to the stage where we're literally timing what we think a guy is gonna take to walk. This is a tremendous individual who we are gonna honor today and put your name up in the ring of honor. You know, once we get towards those last couple minutes, uh, knowing that we're going to clear and, and be done, is uh, it's fun. Thank you, Indianapolis, for everything that you've done for me. It's been a special ride. A little bit of adrenaline, I guess, of uh, making sure that it, we're not delaying anything. 33 seconds left. Plenty of time. We ran a little long uh, at halftime. Uh, we kind of got off the field in the nick of time and obviously didn't delay anything, but it still was uh, a little close for comfort. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. It was organized. It was good. Edge, I can take your jacket if you want it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Quick on and off. Until next time, jacket. I'll see you later. It's a pretty full, you know, 12 to 13 hours. So it's, it can be a long day, but it's it's fun and it's exciting to see everybody. Like you have the aha moment or like the, hey, it's over. We're 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 good and and now it's kind of rolling on to the next thing. So those are memories that probably I would have in in the role that I have and behind the scenes. And you're like. This was really fun and exciting and hopefully you made a memory for the fans and then you made a memory for the player.